What's going on everyone? How's it going? Happy... What are we today? Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. I thought I would come on here and do that streaming stuff. That apparently I do. So yeah. It has been a long couple of, I say a long couple of weeks, long two weeks. Last stream was the Wheel of Struggle, week one with Bomberman, and I haven't streamed since. Work has been busy. Time's tough. You know how it is. So I figured, new Power Wash Simulator update, nice chilled stream, no issues, just some really weird, relaxing power washing. Why not? Why the F not? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play some Power Wash. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone is doing good. Please feel free to enjoy this relaxing Power Wash simulator. Um, it's funny, this game, every single person that I told about this game laughed at me. Going, My god, you're going to Power Wash, like how dumb is that? And then every single person that's played it is like, okay, I need more of this game. And then everyone who watches it, they're just like, why can I not turn away from this game? It's so satisfying to see. On Sunday, I'll be streaming again on Sunday. We're going to do a 10-hour stint on Sunday. 10 hours. It's going to be horrific. And not only is it 10 hours, it's 10 hours of the Wheel of Struggle. It's going to be 5 hours of uh, Dark Cloud or whatever it's called. And then whatever gets drawn um, tomorrow. So... It's going to be a 10 hour slug, that is for sure. So why not have some relaxing stream time with Power Wash? So let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's play. Let's play. Let me get things actually set up properly here. That's the wrong button. That's probably better. Don't give me that. That's not... Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Yay! Ooh, that's really small. Why is that so small? You get back over here. And you come down here. Eh. That'll do it. I'll probably have to fix it when I actually put it live. But them's the breaks. Yeah. There we go. I'll probably fix it again when I actually start the game. So yeah, 10 hours on Sunday coming up with the Wheel of Struggle. Looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll have a nice relaxing stream with Power Wash Simulator. This is the new update. I've had this game since it was on uh, early release. So I've done the career even though it says new for some reason. There's nothing new. I've done it all. I was a little bit annoyed because under specials... Um, no, not specials. Under career and under bonus jobs... You have these three, Mini Golf, Gnome, and Locomotive, and I've done those ones, but they're still showing as new, and the only one that's been completed is the Mars Rover, which is really, really annoying. I have already done those three, so I guess that just gives me more content, right? But we are doing the new update for Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider um, update that just released today. Um, they were pretty quiet on updates for the longest time, and then this just kind of dropped like a week or so ago, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it got released today. So, pretty exciting. So, let's get started with some Tomb Raider. Now, I've just realized I have messed up a setting. Let me fix that real quick. This one. There we go. That's better. <coughs> now, right away, this is concerning. I know the size of this. I already logged in earlier just to check out the update and to see it. And this is concerning that this is only worth 400 but because it's massive. But let's get into it. It's also annoying that I don't get to pick my equipment. I only have these equipment. So this isn't the strongest power washer we can use, which is annoying. Um, yeah, it's sort of annoying. 
I can't use my big power washer with the attachments, but I guess they tell you what to use. Details, lots of stuff, but again, like 400, I don't know. Doesn't feel like a lot. And no messages. All right, now let's get to it. Let me see how this looks on the screen when we start. Let's continue. All right, yeah, let's get this fixed first of all. Oh, don't want that. I want that. All right. Time to fix the game. Time to make the donuts. I already made the donuts. There. There we go. A little bit cut off by my head, but say la vie. All right, let's do this. So this is what we have to clean. We've got the front here, all the sides. The roof is the only thing I think that is actually clean. So it is just the front, the sides, and rounds here and this fountain. Now I think I'm going to start with the fountain. I think that's what we're going to do. So, first spray is the best spray. And we're off. Oh, there's no desktop noise now. I trust you have everything you need to begin to work. I'll sure to be finish you with your tea and biscuits just as soon as I escape a minor predicament. Winston Smith. It's nothing to worry about, by the way. It's just, it's just nothing to worry about. That is the butler. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Device. Speakers. I think that should be right. Yep, 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 yep. Is this working there? There we go. There we're getting some noise. Miss Crofts likes to set me these challenges from time to time, otherwise one can get rather dull. That, I believe, is a reference to um, locking him in the in the fridge in Tomb Raider. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fountain time. Now see, if I had my, uh, I mean, this is quite easy stuff here to do, right? Just grime and dirt and stuff. But if I had my proper power washer, the one that I unlocked and earned during my power washing career in this game, then this would be coming up even easier. I'd probably have more uh, range as well. But this is the one that they are giving us. Also as well, I do this my way. And I'm sure this will probably be triggering to a lot of people, especially if you have any any type of OCD. I do this my way. I do this the way I want to do it. I also like taking my time with it. Just, you know, relaxing with it. Enjoying seeing it get cleaned. There's a, 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 a setting that you can use. For anyone who isn't familiar with this game, there's a setting that you can use. Like just now, you can see my right thumbstick. I'm using key uh, controller. My right thumbstick is the actual power washer. I think if I press this, no. There's a button that I can press. I forget what it is on controller, but there's a button that I can. Yeah, there we go. C, where now. The, I, I am the power washer. I can move this power washer and it doesn't move or it moves the screen when I go to the edges, but it doesn't move the screen. This was a great addition to the game for those that suffer with motion sickness so that they could actually play this uh, without having the whole screen rotate around. The problem with it though is you can set the settings so high that um, you can clean everything in just about a matter of seconds because you just whip it across so fast 
that it gets everything and I don't really like that. So I prefer this mode where the gun is stationary and I do the moving. So apologies for anyone who has motion sickness. I hope it doesn't affect you too much watching. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the one that I like to play with. Again, for anyone who hasn't played this game before, if I press right on my D-pad, it gives me a dirt monitor. And on the top left hand side there you can see the percentage cleaned overall, but then just uh, to the right of that you'll see what it is I'm cleaning just now. So found in Lantern uh, Plymouth, 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 and that white bar indicates how dirty it still is. So even though this side is clear, it counts for the whole thing, including on top or inside, depending on what it is. So it's like, oh yeah, well that's nice and clean. Why hasn't it been like ticked off? Well, because I need to do all the sides, top, bottom, left, right, etc., etc. So that's what we're going to do. Some of the levels in this game are just crazy. Like some of these levels, this one's maybe going to take me two hours, maybe. Let's see somewhere around there too, maybe three hours, depending on how uh, how slow I go. Some of these levels can take literally like four hours, five hours. It's insane. Um, just there's so much stuff to clean or the, the, um, the level is just so big, so many things. The last level on the career of this game, and I swear that might have taken me like six hours, maybe. Maybe even more, I, I don't remember exactly. I just remember it was multiple sittings. It was, uh, yeah, it was crazy how long that one took. So you definitely don't, this isn't a pick up and play game. Like, you will be at this game for a very long time. And personally, I think it's worth every penny. I've realized in my older age that games like this are just so much up my alley. Like this and farming simulator like I could and flight simulator may basically all the simulators I could but I could play these games just so happily not have a care in the world about it be completely at peace I'm not stressing I'm not getting shot every 30 seconds I'm not getting beaten by somebody at a sports game it's just me quite happy cleaning away no stress in the world this is also a multiplayer game a game as well um, It is kind of fun with friends, especially when you get into the bigger maps and you're helping them progress and stuff. It is really, really fun. It doesn't. I don't know if it looks fun, but it is fun. It is just nice and easy. No stresses. It's so random that they've brought out this uh, Tomb Raider 2, con or, or not Tomb Raider 2, but Tomb Raider content. Like, just... <coughs> excuse me, out of nowhere. They've, like, built their own levels before. You know, you've got golf course, oh, not golf, oh, yeah, golf courses and houses and different vehicles and stuff, and that's all cool and everything, but this is the first time that they've done, like, a, almost like a sponsored event, almost, and very, so very, very random that they picked Tomb Raider out of everything. But looking at it, like, it's a great choice. You've got a big house... There's some vehicles in here, I think. You've got inside the house. There's a, a lot of uh, content, if you like, or, or um, level to this update. So I'm here for it. I am absolutely here for it. way that I do, like, I decide what I'm going to clean, like, yeah, you could just rock up, pick something, turn your turn your power washer on, and away you go. But the way that I choose to do it is, at the very end of each level, you get, like, a kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for here, like, a 
fast forward replay, instant replay of what you did and what you cleaned, and it does it in like super high speed. And if you clean things in like a certain order or a uh, particular pattern, it gets very, it's like so satisfying to watch. You just kind of sit back and take stock on exactly, you know, everything that you did there and what you cleaned and how big it was and stuff. So I clean things with that in mind. So I like to see things go in stages. So I'm thinking, like, just looking at this house, I'm probably going to do the bottom of the house first, um, end to end, and then do the top, end to end. So that way, when it comes to the the instant replay at the end, it'll, you know, kind of be like a wraparound effect, right? I'll start at the bottom, then it'll go all the way across the top. I think that'll look pretty cool. Obviously, this phone is being um, excluded from that, but yeah. That's the way that I clean things. And I know certain people, if you have a, an affinity of cleaning something in a certain way or you've got OCD about missing parts or anything like that, that can sometimes be a little bit triggering. Because the game is really bad at that. Like right now, I've just realized that this part that I'm cleaning right now, this kind of top edge, there's a lip there. And I guarantee you, if I go under this lip, yep, dirt underneath the lip. So now I'm going to have to go back round everything that I've just done and get underneath that lip. The game does give you quite a, um, a a generous, shall we say, leeway into, you know, if you miss something, it will still consider it to be clean, um, which is cool. But there's times like this where you're like, okay, this is absolutely clean. What the heck? Why, is not, why am I not getting a ding to say that it's been cleaned? And then you duck down and you see, oh, it's because of this giant bit down here that I completely missed and didn't see. Angles, people, are everything. Angles are everything. Power wash simulator, angles are everything. get this bit done then we'll go back around again and we'll get on the underside of those lips get underneath the lips and we'll get these cleaned here that's what she said that's what she said The other thing as well about this that I haven't mentioned is right now I am using the yellow nozzle, which is your kind of most powerful nozzle apart from, it's the most powerful that gives you like an area to work with. There is a red nozzle, but you can see it's kind of like a, a, a jet. So you have to kind of go back over things maybe a couple of times. It removes harder stains um, quicker, but you only get that stream. Whereas, oh, I do get this one. Oh, I never realized that. Okay, this changes things a little bit, actually. My pressure washer is gold-plated. That is how long I've been playing this game for. I have a gold-plated pressure washer. I didn't know I could get this attachment, but I'm still not a massive fan of this attachment. Um, so, yeah, so you have this one here, which is like a, a, a big pressure swirly wash. Uh, this gets rid of really hard stains. So right below where it tells you what I'm power washing, it tells you what it's made of, so like stone or whatever. Um, but then when you go over the, it's kind of hard to see because you get rid of it so quick. But when you go over an area, it will tell you what it is that you're cleaning. And sometimes you'll get like rust and stuff like that. So the different nozzles will help clean it. But you can see here like this one, this this white one, it's given me a bigger arc, but it's not as powerful. It's not as much pressure. It's kind of doing okay, but not great. Then you have the next one, which is green, which is again a bit more pressure, bit of a, a smaller arc. Orange, much smaller arc, much more pressure. Red, single line, and then the kind of three 
single lines there as well, which I'm going to use on this next bit. So depending on what you're washing will determine exactly what um, tool you either want to use or you feel most comfortable with. So um, <laughs> what's going on, Bob? Yes, the science of power washing. There is such a science. So yeah, I pr I this one here, this kind of triple nozzle is new. They just really they released this in the last version of uh, last update of the game. Um, ding, there we go. That's cleaned. I, I like it, but I don't at the same time. Like, it gives you a wider range than just this one, but it does leave lines. It's like, there is gaps there, so you kind of have to go back and forth um, a couple of times to make sure you haven't missed any gaps. There we go. That's you cleaned. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, this, this bit should be nice and easy. See, this happens to me all the time. I try and go in a nice straight line and I end up kind of veering off to the side. So now I kind of have to come back on myself, probably fall down. Oh, no, didn't fall down. And here it goes. There we go, not bad. This is where the OCD comes into it because they're like, when you're using a, a controller, it's just so hard to go in an absolute straight line. So sometimes you have to go down and kind of come back up that same line again. But I'm sorry, like you can't tell me that that isn't satisfying. That to me is just sex and war. That's it there, like I missed that little strip there that I tried to correct it and I've missed the whole strap. Come back down. What I wish they would introduce or bring into the game is a floor power washer. Um, those are usually like the big round ones um, that you just kind of push, almost like a, a vacuum or a Hoover or something, to clean floor or or you know ground like this. That would be interesting, but I guess not. Like I don't know about you guys, I get lost in this. Like if I if I find something on YouTube that's like power washing related, I just get lost. Like I can watch those for hours. You don't have enough OCD for this game. <laughs> but yeah, it does that to you. Like the, not being able to do a straight line here is really infuriating for me. Uh, so that's why you know I kind of have to oops, see like that. The thumbstick just doesn't give you enough kind of straight line precision so you kind of have to work it all the way down which is kind of annoying but uh, like this I got this and uh, no, I didn't get this like I'll watch this on YouTube from time to time like someone power washing like a big driveway or something like that and it's just just super satisfying to watch or most recently what I got into, which is so dumb, I have absolutely no, like, I don't know why this gets me so much, pool cleaning. Watching someone clean a pool is so stupidly satisfying. Like, please, bring out pool cleaning simulator. Please, I will buy it. I will clean the pools. That just makes me really happy. Let me go clean this while I'm here. Ding. Like I start off with a plan, like yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this part, I'm gonna do this part, and then like I'll see something like, get up, I'll see something like that, and I'll be like, oh, just clean this while I'm here, and then it throws everything off. Oh, there's another part. I know when Fluffin watched this um, one time I streamed it, he was like, okay, A, this is ridiculously satisfying to watch, and I can't take my eyes off of it, but B, you're driving me crazy because you keep missing bits and you haven't gone back to it yet. I'm like, yep, that's kind of just how I play it. Can you break the glass? No, you cannot break the glass if you have too much pressure, unfortunately. 
That would be a cool update, though. Like, damaging property. Oh. What was another one that I liked? Um, oh, the one, <laughs> the one that Irish hated, Lawn Mowing Simulator. Oh, that was just riding around on a lawnmower, just cutting grass. Oh, bliss. If I remember correctly, Irish wasn't the biggest fan of it. <laughs> but that game, again, I could just sit and play that game all day. This is how I get through the wheel. Like, I'll play the wheel games and get angry. This is how I I calm myself down. You know, I'll play one of these games before or after the wheel. Just calms me down. Nice and easy. No issues. And then I, that builds all my rage up for the wheel. Did Lawnmower Simulator give you a beer? No. Should it have given me a beer? It's like my biggest wish in life. Like, I actually quite enjoy doing yard work, like mowing the lawn and stuff like that. I really, you know, again, just relaxing. There's so much shit in the world these days. It's just nice to be able to do something and turn off and, you know, just think of nothing about, about the job that you're doing. And I keep telling my wife the one thing that I really wish I could get and justify is a ride along more, just so that I could exactly do that. Sit on the ride along more have a beer, cut my grass. That, to me, is just like, like I bet that's really annoyed someone. I bet that's really, really annoyed someone that I've done that. Uh, but that, to me, is the biggest, like, just peaceful experience I can think of. Cutting the grass with a beer. Oh, I would be happy as a pig in shit. So, you know, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Help me live, get my uh, right along more. <laughs> Channel channel goals. Get Tater a ride along more. How do you know if you ain't drinking a beer? <laughs> How can you say no to a... Why? Mark, man, why would you say no to that? It is the greatest thing in the world. Why would you say no to that? I demand an explanation because if my wife said, hey, we should get a ride on more, I'd be like, uh, yeah, right now, let's go. I'll even buy it. Oh, I've done it again. Sorry. See? That's controller input for you. How can you say no to a... Can... Can you get one and just send it to me? I'll take it. Oh, okay. Small yard and a very slope yard at that. Alright, I can see that. But, I can also see the benefits of having a ride along more for a sloped yard because obviously pushing a mower up that slope can't be fun. Get yourself a nice little powerful mower, bing bang bomb, there you go. You're just you're just hitting the accelerator at that point. So I agree with your wife. Ride along more is necessary in your situation. And then you can film it and let me live through you. I actually don't <coughs> I actually don't think technically my yard would justify a ride along, but by God, I'd make it work. I'd figure out a way. Ah, I've done it again. I was looking at chat. Self-propelled, so the slope isn't that bad. You've got all these excuses just handmade. You're just ready for all of them. You've had this conversation more than once with your wife, I can tell. Because it's the same, you know, when I have arguments or disagreements with my wife as well about stuff that she thinks we need, I have all of these reasons just ready to go. I am I am ready to squash any argument she thinks that she has. I've actually got a shit ton of work to do in my yard. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> You've had the, yeah. I could tell. Those... Those reasons weren't the first time that you'd thought about them. I, I, I could I got that coming through the coming through the chat. Like I'd move. If 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 I knew, especially getting towards retirement, not that I'm near retirement right now, but when I when I get towards retirement, if I if it feels like the 
the odds of me ever owning a ride along more are diminishing, I'll move. Like, this, it's going to happen. i do yard work if it would quit snowing. <laughs> That's also a good excuse. I mean, in Florida, I don't really have that excuse. Um, I'd do yard work if, uh, you know, I didn't melt is the closest thing I can get to that. But I don't mind the heat that much, so it doesn't really bother me. And I enjoy doing it. It's sad, I know, but I enjoy it. It's very, you know, very rewarding, very satisfying, very, um, you know, very zen process, as it were. Yes, I am a Florida man. I told my wife if it ever snowed, we would move. I am done with the snow. I've had my time with the snow. I survived the snow. I've built snowmans. I've done snow angels. I've had snowball fights. I have pushed cars out of the snow. I've shoveled the snow. I've been buried in the snow. I have done everything snow related. If it snows in Florida, I am out. Instantly. Instantly. First snowflake. Signs in the front yard. So look at that. Where are we? We're 30 minutes in or so. Already done the bottom half and the top half of this. Now we just got see there. Like see how much I had left to do there, and the game just gives it to you. It obviously has like a percentage. Once you get to a certain percentage of an area, it will do it for you. And I had hit that, but that that I don't like. Like I want to finish that. I want that satisfaction. I want that that uh, that feeling of completing it and not the game robbing me of it because it's like oh you've met the criteria. Like I want that. I would love if they introduced a... Oh, look at the distance I can get on this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'd love it if they could get... If you could have, like, a difficulty set and, like, how much does the game give you? Low, medium, high type thing. Or off. And you just have to find every speck of dirt. Oh, this thing just makes it real easy from that distance. Osh. But yeah, pool cleaning, that's another one, like I said. I'd love to get a pool just so I could clean it. It looks really satisfying. Um, pretty much, if there's a simulation, and a decent simulation, like, I'm not talking, like, you know, uh, fabricated simulation. Like, this is somewhat fabricated, but it's also kind of true as well. If there's a simulation game, a good simulation game, odds are I'm either playing it or I've played it already. Um, like there's one that was out a little while ago, fire firefighting simulation. That was really cool. It was actually you know really detailed in a lot of ways. A little bit buggy, a little bit glitchy, but it was still good. Multiplayer as well. Got to drive drive the fire trucks and stuff. Didn't let you slide down the pole though. Didn't let you go full Ghostbusters on it. But um, it was still fun. I enjoyed that one. I'll still play that one from time to time on the Xbox. Farming Simulator. Love me some Farming Simulator. Love me some Farming Simulator. Um, flight Simulator, obviously. Love flying planes. That is on the bucket list as well, but that's probably... I am probably closer to this one than I am getting a ride along more. Really, really want to get flying lessons. Really want to start learning how to properly fly actual planes. Um... And even if it doesn't lead to anything, even if it's just a few lessons, like, just to have that experience of being in control of a plane, love to have flying lessons. That would, that is probably the number one thing on the bucket list. But for now, Flight Simulator will do, and, it, and that does, I mean, obviously that game is massive in terms of size and detail. That game does a really good job of keeping it kind of true to life, as well as true to life as, the, as it can. So I really enjoy that one as well. I'll put, I'll put like 
300 hours into the flight simulator, I think. Just a lot of hours. So yeah, if you see a new simulator game getting released, odds are you'll probably see me playing it. Just and it's because of this, you know, I can sit down, I can relax, I can chat, I can explain what's happening. If I don't know what's happening, I can complain that I don't know what's happening. You know, it's just it's, it's easy, it's so easy. And when it comes to streaming it as well, like it makes streaming these games so easy as well because, you know, I can talk to chat. I can have those conversations. It's not like, oh, I can have a quick conversation now and then something's going to happen, so I have to turn away and, you know, then you, you lose track of what you're talking about. I can just keep on going with this. Keep on, keep oning. See, this stuff's coming up real easy. Real stupid easy. Look at look how clean that is. Love it. I wonder. Now, let's see, I'd love to use the wider barrel, but you can see it leaves behind. It doesn't pick it up right off the bat. So I'm just gonna. I don't think I'm gonna keep with this one. I'm gonna go back to my orange one though. This one. I feel like I can control this a bit better here. So you go up with one pass, come down with the second, cleans it all up. Apart from that bit because I was stuck against the wall. So let's get rid of this part here. It'd be good if they introduced gra like science into this a little bit, like you know. Normally what you'd want to do is uh, show me your tits. One thing that you'd normally want to do is like power wash from the top down so that the water runs down, but it doesn't have that kind of physics in the game. Again, that'd be another cool thing to add. Alas, not. And good evening to you, Sir Fluff. I hope you have recovered from last night's uh, double wheel stint. That was a long evening for you, sir. And uh, no. My tits will be remaining in my bullet You club. caught me! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! You caught the tater! Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Thank you for the subscription, Monsieur Fluffin. I really do appreciate the support. Competitive power washing. There, I mean... I guess the Power Wash Simulator was on um, was on Games Done Quick this year, so I guess technically it, it can now be competitive power washing. Eleven hours with a pizza break in the middle. Yeah, I feel your pain. I mean, that's like I said I'm going to be doing that on Sunday, a double a double session on Sunday. Perhaps it might be judicious to say a few pertinent points while you work. All right, I am here for it. What are your pertinent points, housekeeper? Miss Croft is quite an extraordinary woman. You are correct. She has done more for teenage boys than their mothers. She demands Exacting standards, both for herself and others. If you excel, you'll meet her generous side. Mm -hmm. I've already met her square generous side. If not... Well, Miss Croft has an extensive and colourful vocabulary. Mm. I don't. I'm dumb, so I won't know if she's insulting me or not. So that's the butler. Uh, honestly, consider clawing your time back by doing half the dark cloud run and then play the game in your own time. Way better experience. Yeah, probably. 
I want to give it a fair shot though. Like, I don't want to just go into it going, oh, I'm just going to play half of this. Like, I'm going to give it a fair crack of the whip. But if it does get to the point where it is just boring and like it's just not enjoyable anymore then yeah i might just call it wherever i am and then crack on with the next game but i want to give it a fair shot i do want to um did i do the sides i did i do want to give it a fair a fair go and not just call it halfway through but we'll see we'll play it by ear we'll see what happens Tomb Raider was the first game. I I played Tomb Raider very, very, very briefly. I played Tomb Raider 2 a lot. And Tomb Raider 2 was the first game that I really remember there being, um, like, myths about the game. Like, oh, if you run into this block, you get... Um, you go into an underworld, and if you dive like this, you'll see her naked, and... You know, you can lock the guy in the fridge, which that one obviously turned out to be true. And I think every single player that played Tomb Raider 2 locked the butler in the fridge. Um, but it was the first game I remember those kind of myths and legends um, about any any kind of game like that, you know. And of course, I tried all of them because you had to. And I remember, I, I, I don't know if it was in Tomb Raider 1, I know it was in Tomb Raider 2. But I remember there were like button commands to do different things, like blow herself up, and um, oh, there were other ones as well that I forget. But like you could you could blow yourself up by you know up, down, back, front, front flip, back flip, side step, side step, back flip, and then you would like blow up or something. I remember all those commands. I don't remember the commands, but I remember having those commands as well, um, and during that game. So yeah, that was. It's kind of like my earliest memory of like myths in a game. Oh, if you do this, then you do that, then this will happen. You're like, really? Oh my god, I'll try it out. Yeah, so and so's brother showed me. Never happened. Or oh, you're just you're obviously doing it wrong. I saw it. I saw it happen. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> and then they squared off with me in the parking lot, and I backed down from the fight. Ollie. Holly, 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 with the raid. Thank you, thank but you I so knew much. They were gonna use. The sweetest siren. How the devil are you doing, my dear? Good to see you again. How are you? How are you? How are you? Ollie, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid, Ollie. Really, really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I, I saw you were online earlier today. Um, I was working. Apologies, I couldn't catch that. But welcome. Welcome all the raiders. My name is Tater. I am a, I'd say I'm probably a variety streamer, focusing more on the horror games, a um, little bit of simulation games, and the Wheel of Struggle as well. Um, and welcome, welcome to my channel. Just now we're having a relaxing stream with Power Wash Simulator, the Lara Croft DLC. I know when the sweetest siren found us, we were phasmophobiaing all the time, and now it's power wash. How times have changed. <laughs> but, um... Eternal Darkness, yes, that's what you were playing. Siren, I am doing great, thank you so much. I really am. Um, things are going good. Fluffin, if you are still in the chat, would you be so kind to give... Um, Ollie and sweetest, sh sweetest Siren a shout out if you'd be so kind. Um, Ollie and the Sweetest Siren are a massive, massive part as to why I am, uh, well, one, streaming and two, um, an affiliate on on Twitch. They, they found us, they um, supported us, their community jumped in, or Sweetest Siren's community jumped in, which was uh, obviously um, where Ollie was from as well, and just, uh, yeah, really, really helped grow the channel and, um, you know, meet a, a great new bunch of people, so um, Sweetest Siren, if I am not mistaken, right now you're on a bit of a Warzone kick, if I've seen correctly, um, 
getting some of that Warzone and DMZ uh, in there. So definitely check her out if you're into Warzone. And both of them I know are um, regular, or somewhat regular now, um, horror game players. Phasmophobia being one, I'm pretty sure they are both exciting, excited and looking forward to the new Phasmophobia update that will be coming out soon, hopefully. But uh, yeah, make sure you go check out their channels. Great, great content creators, great streamers, lovely, lovely people, really, really nice community. Um, yeah, go check them out. Thank you so much for the shout outs there, Sir Fluffin. I really appreciate it. But yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We were just talking there just as you came in about Tomb Raider. How Tomb Raider was the first game that I really remember having um, like myths, urban legends about you know what you could do with Lara Croft and if you did certain things you would reach certain areas and all that kind of stuff. None of which um, actually ever came true apart from maybe one or two of them. <laughs> Ollie is the better Eternal Darkness streamer than Siren. Uh, I mean, I have never seen either one of you play it yet, unfortunately. Um, so, I, Ollie, I will have to take your word for it. But one thing that I know about Siren is if you are the better Eternal Darkness streamer just now, she won't let that last for very long. If I know Siren, She's coming for you. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's it's easy to be better than someone, Ollie, if the other person doesn't play it. So, I mean, technically, I guess you're right then, if that's the case. Ollie is also our resident doesn't know jack shit about films guy so he thinks he knows about films and then once you start talking to him for five minutes you realize he he knows absolutely nothing about films doesn't remember what films are thinks he knows a quote not from the right film like he he knows nothing about movies so uh, yeah test all his knowledge on movies if you ever get a chance it's always worthwhile <laughs> Croft Manor is a bit of a shithole. Well, I mean, so I don't know if there's um, lore in this. I haven't played Tomb Raider since Tomb Raider 2. And that was the last game I remember the manor being in. Well, I say remember. It's the last game I saw. So maybe this game is picking up on my gaming history. Realizes I haven't seen this place for, what, 18, 19 years or something. And it's like, hey, you've, you've kind of let this place go a little bit. Clean it, you bitch. But yes, it has seen better days. But Fluffin, that's why we're here. That is why we're gonna we're gonna turn this back to peak Croft Manor. Just you wait; it's gonna happen. You just want to make people feel good. That's why you're not showing your bath. I mean, that is the key to happiness, Ollie. That really is. If people, it's all about movie knowledge. People base their entire existence around movie quotes and what movies they've seen and what movies they know. And then they meet you and they're like, shit, this guy knows way more than me. That's that's their life over. So I get it. I get why you're being humble. And if I, um, if I know anything about you, Ollie, it's that you are humble. You never troll people. You, all you're looking for is the best in people and their happiness. So I, I fully believe in everything that you're saying, Raleigh. Fully believe it. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's exactly that. You don't want to make anyone feel bad. That's exactly it. You sacrifice how you look so that others feel better about themselves. That's why, you know, that's why everyone loves you, Ollie. That's, you know, people feel good around you. I, I've heard Siren come off of stream many a time when she's left her mic on. She doesn't realize it. She's like, it's just not the same streaming when, when I know Ollie's not there. Ollie makes me better. He makes me feel better. And it's just a more enjoyable time. I've heard it. We've all heard it. So I fully believe you, my friend. I fully, fully believe you. Eh. 
Clean the fishy mouth. That sounded bad. I wonder if this is Tomb Raider trying to get back in the mainstream. <laughs> now you feel better about going to bed. So you should. Knowing that you're making a difference. I don't ever remember there being a giant bloody fish in the middle of this mansion. Then again, again, I barely remember what I did last week, and last time I saw this mansion was like 15 years ago or something, so I could be wrong. I do remember the maze. The maze was a bitch. Nothing says mainstream like Power Wash Simulator. Say what you want, Fluff, and I know you enjoy watching this game, so. The fact that Power that Tomb Raider is in Power Wash Simulator is coming back. It's coming back. I think this game was up for like so many awards for like game of the year or you know long shot game of the year or stuff like that like it's stupidly addictive it really is are there baby wipes in this game <laughs> um no ollie no i mean no ollie's friend no there are not you would you would hope that you could really get that level of detail you know really get in there with the baby wipes make that last little shiny bit but unfortunately not just left with the gun Fi I'm, man, I'm telling you 15 quid I maintain what I said about this game when it first came out bang for buck this is the best game I've played in a long long time bang for buck for 15 what am I at hang on a second let me see here for 15 bucks, I've had, it, right now, I've had 126, 127 hours out of this game for 15 bucks. Not many games you can say that about. So, I think 15 bucks is an absolute steal for this game, if I'm being honest. And I know it sounds dumb, you're cleaning something, like, well, how much value you're really getting out of it but I do I really believe it's true I think this is fantastic value for money excuse me while I clean this fishes behind I do hope they add some more equipment to this game maybe not so much baby wipes that might be Might be too much. <laughs> or not enough, I don't know. But more equipment would definitely be nice. Also, let me pick my own equipment that I have earned. Stop telling me what equipment I need to use for jobs. That I don't like. If my big boy power washer, we'd have done this fish already. Is that his dirt? I'm just not close enough. Are there highway toilets in this game? No. Um, so there aren't, there isn't a highway toilet, but there is a public restroom, and yeah, it's pretty nasty. The game, thankfully, doesn't. The game doesn't graphically show you the mess. Like you can see here, like this is all just dirt and grime and stuff. And it never really lo looks any worse than this. But yeah, you can use your imagination on the public restrooms on how they look. They're not great. So 
there's tons of levels. That's what I mean, like, so many levels for 15 bucks. Unbelievable. Great value for money. I won't hear anything bad about it. How the hell? Oh, yeah, I need to get my ladder. And this is when you start getting into the nooks and crannies of things. Like, you think you've cleaned everything, and then you see, like, a little bit like that, or, like, there's a little bit now in between the fins that you need to try and get. Uh, clean, 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 clean. Get these wings, get the sides here. See, like, this is going to be another one. This fountain statue is one big item. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll break up the item into smaller items, like this would be a wing, and or a, a wing. This would be a fin, or and then the body, and then the tail. Like, they would all be separate items, but this is one big item. So now, my, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The amount that I can miss is probably bigger because it's one big item. Versus if it was individual items, I'd probably be having a harder time because I'd need to get in all the nooks and crannies and stuff. Action 52 for 200, what a steal. <laughs> well, yeah, but House Flipper... House Flipper can afford that. That was another game I loved playing. But House Fli Flipper can afford that gate. It can afford that price range for its replayability. You can buy the houses and make them into anything you want. You can completely demolish them and make them into anything you want. You can play that game over and over again with different results. This game, yeah, you you can't do that. But you've got so much, so many levels that take so long to do that. It makes up for that aspect. Alright, we're attaching. We're going crazy. We've attached a nozzle. Um, so I get what you're saying. I completely get what you're saying. But House Flipper can afford... Um, to have that price tag. Action 52. That's, you know, someone's just ripping you off. But House Flipper, you can afford to have that price tag because the um, you've got so much replayability. Whereas this, you can't, you, I mean, you don't really want to go back and redo the jobs again. Some people do, I've done it a couple of times. But the, um, the amount of time that each level takes you makes up for it. So, I don't know, each of their own at the end of the day, right? If, if it's not for you, it's not for you. If it is for you, it is for you. Um, but the, I think it's a fantastic purchase, personally. I'm going to nominate it for the wheel next season, just to see who can stay awake playing it. <laughs> you just did the bare minimum every contract. Well, yeah, there's there's that way of playing it too, I guess. I was very surprised when I saw you play that game. I would have lost a lot of money if that was ever a question or a bet, you know. How often does Fluffin play House Simulator? Huh? Never. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the first thing that we've cleaned. Look at it. Look at it in all of its glory. It's beautiful. Now, you can say that that's boring. You can say that... Whatever. I don't care what you say. That... Is satisfying. Now I'm just, I'm pretty sure I got everything right. I got that, I got that, I got up there, fountain pedestal. Yep, cool. So you see, we've done all of that. That took us almost, almost an hour, and we just got that bit done. And now we still have the rest of the house. So my plan for the house is first of all, get rid of this. 
My plan for the house is to start down here and I'm going to take it up to there. And then I'm going to go along all the bottom here, all the way along, all the way along, all the way along, all the way around. And then when I get to the end, I'm then going to do the top part and come all the way back along here. That's the plan. That is the plan. Let's get started on the actual house. And this isn't it, by the way. This is, there are levels here. I don't know what they all are, but I know that there's this part. I know that there is a vehicle, which I think is a bike or a car or something like that. Um, and I believe there is inside of the house as well. So have to wait and see what we get but I'll be streaming all of them if you want to see what the inside of Lara Croft's house looks like or if you want to be rem reminded of what the inside of her house looks like stay tuned I think yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna clean this part first Action 52 for 200 bucks. No, thank you. See, House Flipper's a game that I'm, I might get back into again. Because the DLC that that game has now is ridiculous. And now that I've got a PC that can, I say PC, now that I've got a laptop that can actually play it, I could really see myself getting back into it. That's less than four dollars a game. You'd be a fool not to buy it. You know, when you put it like that, it is a good price. That is a good price. When you put it in those terms. You cannot argue with those facts. That is a good price for 52 games. But, but at what cost to your sanity? That's the question. Ding, ding. Making money now, people. We are making money now. I took my time with it. Like I, I put thought into each of my houses and each of my rooms, and I'm not good at that stuff. I'm, now, I'm not saying that they looked good or were good. I'm just saying that me personally, I put time into that. I wanted to at least think that my houses looked good. But Phasma will still forever be my favorite. <laughs> as soon as I heard the ding, I went to the next house. That game is over $300 now? You're kidding. That's ridiculous. Like, is that just p purely for the, the, the cult following of it like that's what's made it that price that is insane I'm guessing though 300 must be like mint in box 300 not just I have a cartridge B for the memes yeah 
collector's item. I own Action 52, tee hee hee. Yeah, look how much you spent, tee hee hee. That's ridiculous. I've made some stupid purchases in my life, but to pay 300 bucks for a game like that, I don't even think I could make that decision. I don't think I could justify that in the slightest, ever. Complete in boxes, seven hundred and ninety-two dollars. People have got too much money. People have got too much money, and I don't have enough. Clearly, like the thought, like to sit down one day and go, I really want Action Fifty Two, and I really want it mint in box so that I can show off. And then they log on to eBay or whatever, and it's oh, it's seven hundred bucks. Not a problem. Here's my information. Like, what the fuck? Imagine having that level of money where just spending 900 now, you're saying, on a game that is pish for the memes. Like, that is a level of money I would only dream of. Oh, I didn't clean the floor here. If I win the lottery, I'll pay for all wheelers flights to be up and have an Action 52 live wheel struggle. <laughs> that would be awesome. Although, don't say that around the council. They might start charging us uh, player fees so that they have a pool at the end of it and do something like that. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I'd be totally down for that. Imagine if there's a subscription to the wheel, like ten dollars a month or ten dollars a season, like paying for that amount of pain. You'd have to turn it into like a BDSM channel. No, I know, I know. I was just spitballing what my stupid brain was going through while power washing. But yeah, I, don't, I know that would never happen. But imagine! Is that clean? No. Oh, there we go. There's the ding. I wouldn't want a belt, uh, a trophy. I'd want a belt. I would want an old school WWF, WCW old school championship belt. That's what I would want. And I totally agree. If that was an option, I would totally contribute towards that. Uh, I think that would be really cool. I would never see it. I'd never get my hands on it. But it would be really cool to to have that like shipped out and get pictures or a video or whatever that would be really really cool I think I agree I would 100% uh, pitch in for that that is the biggest issue though right is uh, you, you think you know these people some people you do know really well others you know you might only know a little bit and then next thing that belt never seen again <laughs> But yeah, I'd be totally down for doing something like that as well, though. I agree. But then at the same time, I guess, if you had a trophy... Like, now I'm just going, like, completely over the top with it and completely unrealistic. If you had a trophy and, you know, you could get, um, you know, the season winners engraved on the trophy and things, that, that would also be quite cool. Again, 
I'd never fucking see it. But I would live vicariously through somebody who does have it and enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just really happy that this season, um, so, I mean, like, it was almost like within the space of a couple of days, we had, like, three, four, five new people join the wheel, just, like, rapidly. Uh, I'm so happy to see that, that happen. It just shows that, you know, there is a, a population of people out there who enjoy this type of thing, and to see that happen so quickly, I think, is awesome. Long may it continue. Honourable mention tater on the very bottom. Fuck you. <laughs> travelling, yeah, yeah, travelling trophy would be absolutely difficult. Alright, a new one each year, yeah, okay. I like how you're putting an honourable mention at the bottom, Fluffin. Like, do, do you honestly believe that you would ever have your name on the trophy? Be honest, tell me the truth. Do you honestly believe on a regular wheel that doesn't have populace every single round, do you honestly believe that you would be, that you think you could get the trophy. Because I know, based on what I've seen, that is a hard no from me. I will never see that trophy. Do you honestly think you you have a chance of winning? And I'm not being funny when I ask that. I'm, I'm asking a genuine question. Do you honestly believe there's a chance? You think he could, Mark? Okay. No, never. <laughs> so then we'll get you a plaque right next to mine then. Honourable mention. Participation trophy, thanks for showing up. You make the numbers look good. <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't mock you for it. Fliven, if there's one thing that I have learned about you, good sir, is that you need not the situation nor the information to be able to mock me. You, sir, will find a way, come hell or high water, to mock me. And now it's even happening on... on uh, now other people are just getting involved with it. My name's getting thrown about because of you, and I'm not even involved in the conversation. <laughs> in fact, wasn't it you, Mark, that was... The, I don't know what this means, so I'll just assume it means tear. <laughs> I think there was a conversation happening. I think it was on our on our bait servers. Fufin. Yeah, it was when Cyril got the um, got the apocalypse challenge. Congratulations! Did what Tater couldn't. Like, <laughs> I wasn't even in the th on the thread. I didn't. I hadn't even said anything at that point. <laughs> that may have been me, perhaps. Yeah. It's all right. So I'll take the piss out of Tater. Here's the good thing. Here's the good. If there's if there's one quality about me, it is a. I really don't care. If b, I I don't take it seriously, even if it's meant serious. Like even if someone said something really horrible to me, I'm like eh, whatever. <laughs> I'll still take it as a joke, even if it was genuinely meant. Life's too short for that shit. So. I am always a good sport about that stuff. And I know, I think I've got a good grasp of uh, the majority of people on the wheel to know that it isn't jest. So, fire away. I will be your... I will be your... Uh, not guinea pig, what's the word I'm looking for? Something. But, um... I will be the butt of all jokes. That's what I was looking for. I am fine with that. I just love the two of you chipping, chirping away at each other. Yeah, that does happen. Although I think now, I don't know. I don't know if Luthen can honestly call me his rival anymore. I don't think he can. I think Ciro is a better competitor. I think uh, the other guy that I, I brought in, Carl, I think he is a better competitor than, uh, than I am. I think Luthen might have actual proper competition this year outside of just me because I think we realized last season I'm not actually competition I am just someone that he knows 
that is doing the same thing as he is. <laughs> if I ever thought you were serious, I'd expect you to tell me. No, see that? I was, if I thought it was serious, I'd let you keep going, I'd let it build up, and then I'd snap. Because that's what friends do. <laughs> It's always a good laugh. It's always a, it's always good fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy the friendly banter and uh, competitive nature of the wheel with everyone. Actually, with everyone, I, I, I'm. I was. My heart was filled to see um, Decky do worse than me on Bomberman, and then for his realization that if he's not careful, he might become the bar. <laughs> and I. That filled my heart with joy, I'm not going to lie. What is... Ooh, missed you. See, this is where I think drives people crazy. Like, I'm not even done. There we go. I'm not even done with that door, and I just kind of stepped out to look at it, and I saw a bit that I missed, and I had to go and take care of it instantly. It really was. It really, really was. <laughs> that was that was a very like when he left the stream. He's like, oh, I, I have to leave. I might come back to. It. I was like, oh, if he comes back to it, he's definitely gonna beat me. And then he threw in the towel, and I was just, oh, yes, I am not last. And that I have decided is my goal for this year. I think there are. I think the, the main reason that I wasn't last last year was that there were a lot of people that started and didn't finish, so I was able to jump them, you know, after a few rounds. I've got a feeling that might not happen this year. I think a few people will fall off, and I think, oh, surprisingly tough work exterior cleaning, isn't it? Yes. Anything else? Anything else? I go through four flannels a day on one brick alone. Sir. Replace your flannel with a power wash. Save the flannels. I expect you brought some high fangled gizmo or other to speed up the process. Indeed I have. That's so cool that the butler talks to you in this. I really like that. For those of you that weren't here at the start, he... Uh, admitted he was in a bit of a situation which I think was a wink wink nudge nudge to lock him in the fridge which I thought was rather funny um Hulk Command and Conquer comes up soon eh I mean I enjoy Command and Conquer I know where I'm going to place though again not last that's what I'm aiming for not last but it's uh yeah I know you love that game I actually wish you would uh, pick it back up again or pick up another you know, another version of it or whatever because I enjoyed watching you stream that game. It's actually nice to watch it be played well. I think one of the things that I always struggled with with Command & Conquer was I was never really a PC gamer. I dabbled in PC gaming when I was younger. Just. And that's where I played Command & Conquer um, originally. And I could just never get to ha uh, like grips with like the macros and the shortcuts and the key commands that you could do really quickly. Similar to what happened to me in Populous, actually. Not too dissimilar at all. Um, that was a real a real struggle for me to do that. So when it came out for like the Xbox and stuff, it was a lot easier because those commands were you know dumbed down quite a lot. It made it a lot easier for me. So, uh, but I do enjoy it. Like I say, I loved Generals. Generals, oh, I could play that game. I could keep playing that game, to be honest with you. Loved it so much. Um, would highly recommend and play again if I ever had the chance to. But in gen but most of the time in Command and Conquer, I suck. No, I mean, you could get another Command & Conquer game, that wouldn't count as cheating. If 
you picked up, like, I don't know, I know you just did Red Alert 2, I think it was the last one. You know, Tiberian Wars or something like that you could pick up. I forget which one you just streamed, but yeah. I did love me some Command and Conquer. But it's funny, you have such a way of playing those games. Like, when I watch you play Populous, it's like, I have no idea what's going on. Then I played it, and it's like, okay, so I've got a, an understanding now of what's going on. Uh, but I'm still obviously not near near your level on it. I played Command & Conquer. I enjoyed Command & Conquer. I understood Command & Conquer. And even when I watch you play I'm like, I've got no idea what he's doing. This is amazing. So it's always fun to watch you play those games, especially games that I know because you have a... I say you have a different take on it. It's probably not a different take, more of a... This is actually how you should play the game and not just build a base, build a bajillion people and then hope that you win, which is kind of my strap. You actually have proper strategy involved, which uh, I always like to see. Well, so did I to an extent. I've always... See, I think that's one of the things about me in general. I mean, just in life. I never... Like, I grew up on Command and, the, you know, the Command and Conquer genre and things like that. But I would never play a game to be, like, an expert at it. Or I never played a game so much that I became, like, an expert at it. I always bounced about, like, I love racing games. I love all types of games, really. Um, and I've, and you know, I've been like that, say, like, it's sports as well. Like, yeah, I played uh, football, I played basketball. I played basketball and football at a decent level. But, I mean, I also played rugby, I played hockey. I, and, you know, I was never amazing at any of them, but I was always somewhat good at them. And that's kind of, like, my gaming history as well. I'm not amazing at any game, like... There is not a game that you could put on the wheel and I would just be like, I'm amazing at that game. I know I'm going to podium or, you know, it, or win it. There's just not that game at all. Uh, but I would say I am good at, I am, you know, good at a lot of games. I can play a lot of games at a decent-ish standard. Um... But yeah, that's, I've always been like that. Like, I've always wanted... I've always just, like, tried everything. Every genre, every uh, every type of game that I could get my hands on. Or whatever games my friends were playing. If my friends were playing a game, that's the game that I would be playing at that point. Because I wanted to play with my friends. Um, it, it was never like, oh, no, I, I, don't, I don't like that game. I suck at that type of game. Like, no, all right, let's play it. I remember spending hours on Parapper the Rapper. So my mate got it and he thought it was the best thing ever and then I also thought it was the best thing ever because Parapper the Rapper is amazing and I won't hear another word about it so yeah I just never got to that kind of expert level of games I always just kind of was fair to Midland at, at most games and that's your bread and butter yeah absolutely I think Mark, Mark, yeah, yeah, Mark did do good in, in Populous, actually, yeah. C and C is easier, yeah, probably. I'll enjoy C and C, though. That's the difference. <laughs> Versus a lot of the other games in the wheel. I know you're looking at C and C as a, a chance for you to, you know, place first or podium, and you also obviously enjoyed the game. I just enjoy Command and Conquer. I'll enjoy playing it um, right to the very end knowing that realistically I'm going to be nowhere near the podium or the uh, or or first place 
versus the other games on the list where I don't know if I'm going to enjoy them and I know I'm not going to podium or be anywhere near the list. So at least I know with Command and Conquer I'll at least enjoy myself. At, at the very, very least I'll enjoy myself. What am I want to do here? Yeah, I want to do the wall first. One of your favourites. Yeah. So at least you have that. At least you have the... Um, the, the prospect of possibly a podium. I think the best I got last season was 5th, and I was actually quite happy with that. That's an extra point! Yay! I think if I had to make, if I had to choose a game, like if someone said, you have to beat this person at a game, gun to head, I think I would have to put down, I'd have to do a racing game. I think I'm pretty good at racing games, but I also know that I've got a lot of room to get better at a racing game. So if I had to like really grind at it, I could get real, I could get a lot better at racing games, but I seem to have a, a somewhat natural, um, tact for racing games so i'd say if i had to that's the game that i would uh that i would say you know oh there's a racing game i'm going to be good at this and i might expect possibly to be on the podium or or whatever that would be about it that's why i was kind of gutted when i saw that daytona came up and i was getting rinsed um i don't know how well i'd do in that game because that's kind of like an arcade game versus a, an actual racing game but Maybe, who knows, I, I might have stood a stood a fighting chance since it was a racing game. But yeah, if I if I had to pick, I think that would probably be it. Yeah, I think what whose run did I watch? Oh, I was watching your run. <laughs> I was watching you on Fluffin. I, I mentioned this in your chat saying I think not playing this game is a massive disadvantage. Um, <coughs> which I know is a kind of redundant comment because you could say that about every game. But if, if you take a game like Mirror's Edge, and this was my, my, my thought process when I messaged that in the chat. If you take a game like Mirror's Edge, Mirror's Edge, at the end of the day, there's only one way that you can go. Yes, you can go exploring, and yes, you can look at different things in the game, but at the end of the day, there's only one way that you can go. And most of the time, you can't, unless you're stuck, you cannot spend ages in one place. Once you look around everywhere and you're like, okay, well, where do I go? Then you're focused in on where you need to go, and you know, you'll eventually find where you need to go. I learned that the hard way. Whereas Bomberman, having experience in Bomberman could save you quite literally hours playing, running through that game. There are, like, I spent, I don't know how long, I spent ages trying to fight a flying um, enemy. Ages trying to fight it because I thought I could and I couldn't. I think I actually beat it glitchy way, that wasn't really the intended way, but I lost so much time doing that because I thought that's how I could do it and the game didn't tell me otherwise. So not playing that game, not having that knowledge really, uh, really did slow you down. Versus like I say, not playing Mirror's Edge, okay I go left instead of going right, oh whoops it was right all along, I get there eventually. So. Yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying there, that the performance is skewed. Because if you do have people that have played it before, those times are going to be way, um, way skewed. I want to know who approved randomizer for the wheel, because that's going to be even worse. Uh, yeah. You need to know what you're finding on each item. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's going to really suck, but it's going to be different, so it is going to be a, a little bit fun, and it's complete RNG for everyone, so I guess that kind of throws everything up in the air. 
right, my friends. I am going to pause here. I am coming back. I am going to get some food uh, and take a little bit of a break. That's just over an hour now I've been streaming. So I'm going to grab some food. I'm going to grab a bit of a break. And I will be back here in a little bit. Hopefully, you're all still here too. If not, I hope you have a great night. Uh, you'll be able to catch the rest of this on YouTube. I am going to finish this house hopefully tonight. And um, yeah, I'll be back here in just a few. So take it easy and I'll be right back. Cheers, guys.
Alrighty, we are back. Which button do I press to get me that one? Hey, there we go. <coughs> we are back, we are back, we are back. Wait, for, yeah, read your comments, sir. No, you're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Uh, and a randomizer like that, it's going to be tough to, you know, really know what you're doing when items are coming at you randomly. I, I totally get that. I don't think it'll be a participation point, though, for me. Um, that'll be interesting. Like, I like seeing randomizer games. Like, Link, I know uh, Link to the Past is a big randomizer game in the randomizer community. Um, but you're right. You have to have a base knowledge of the game to really understand what you need when and how that's going to work and stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see. It'll be interesting one, though. It'll be interesting. It's one of the reasons that I like this uh, this community, this Wheel of Struggle community, is because it does introduce you to a new genre of game, a new type of game, or just a new game in general that you've maybe never played before. It might get you into something else. Like, I know I play Enter the Gungeon now um, almost every day, just, you know, if I've ever got a bit of downtime for a few minutes, I'll stick that on and see how far I can get. Still can't bloody do it. Still get my ass kicked every single time, but... Um, I don't think I ever would have found that game had it not been for the wheel. So, um, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'll give it a shot. I will give it a shot. That is for sure. Unfortunately for me, I can't see racing games or simulator games ever being <laughs> part of the wheel. So, I will always just aim to not be last. That is the goal. That is the goal. I will put a shout out to the community though, some uh, some homework. I really, really, really want Japan World Cup. Um, really, really want it. And yes, I could buy it. And yes, I should buy it. But if anybody is aware or knows how I can get my hands on Japan World Cup, please let me know because I think that is just the most fun ever and um, would love to put it on stream one day. I think that'd be so much fun. So if anyone knows how to get their hands on Japan World Cup, please let me know. Get in touch. Tell me how to get it. Um, I think that'd be awesome. OOT randomizers, but again, it's because I know the game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If you don't know the game, a randomizer is going to really, really be hard for you. Absolutely. I think one of the things, just kind of on that same uh, same breath as um, randomizers, <clears throat> it'd be really hard to do, and again, it wouldn't be fair for some people, depending on the, the stream and whatnot, but I think it would be so much fun to have a wheel game that is crowd control. That to me, like that to me sounds like such a rage fest, um, and it'll let you know who your true friends really are. <laughs> um, but I think that would be like a tie. If there's a tiebreaker ever, like doing a, a crowd control game, that would be hilarious to me. Um, I would watch the crap out of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, fl Fluffing can fill you in on that one, Mark. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, just uh, saying how a randomizer will be somewhat unfair to those who have never played the actual base game, um, as they'll have no idea what the, you know, what what they need, what they don't need, what they're looking for, as the randomizer will uh, kind of screw them up with that. I know the two games vanilla version, so I'm actually excited for that. Yeah, exactly, and. I don't. I, I think what was it Mega Man? That's the one of the randomizers. I've never played Mega Man. I can't believe I've missed Mega Man along the way, but I've never played Mega Man. So a randomizer Mega Man that just sounds like absolute torture for me. But yeah, but never know. No, it will be my luck that I will just get so lucky that I'll just aimlessly walk into the right answer. I think that's usually how. I'll either aimlessly walk into the right answer or I will 
um, never get past the first level. One of the two. It's going to be one of the two uh, extremes for me. Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Super Metroid. Yep. Never played one of those games. So that is not going to be a... No, I, I can't say it's not going to be fun. I'm sure it will still be fun, but I don't envision getting very, very far in those ones as I have never played either of them. But yes, if we can ever get crowd control, if we ever get crowd control, a wheel crowd control, totally down for some crowd control games. Absolutely. That would be hilarious. I also thought everyone and their mother had played Super Metroid already. <laughs> I mean, you would think, especially with the type of community that we have, we have got some really knowledgeable game enthusiasts in this group. And I wouldn't say that I'm one of them, but I have come to learn that my game knowledge and experience is really, really lacking. But yeah, Ca Castlevania... Um, uh, sorry, not Castlevania. I don't know why I keep saying uh, Super Metroid and stuff. Never, never, never got to them. Never played them. But it is the wheel of struggle, not the wheel of getting to know games. So. If it makes us struggle, then it has met the criteria of the wheel. Let's get the large nozzle on here. <coughs> Excuse me. So yes. To my viewers, anybody knows how to get their hands on a copy of Japan World Cup, please let me know. So the combo Super Metroid slash Link to the Past randomizer once, and that was fun. Oh! I've, I've heard about these combined combo games. I've got no idea um, how they work. But I've, I've seen, um, I, can't, I don't know if it was that exact one, uh, but I've seen a couple of those where they've like doubled up on randomizers. Like items, the items can be in either game and stuff like that, which is really, um, <laughs> which is really interesting. Hence why you'll take your participation point and leave. <laughs> Um, Japan World Cup is actually a DVD. It is not a game. It is a DVD. But I think it would be really, really fun to put on stream because I don't think I've laughed as hard at anything in my life as I have when I watched that, that DVD slash game. But again, see, Flippin, you're saying you'll, you'll take your point and leave. You've said that to me so many times, and the amount of times you've then podiumed or got top five after saying, like, oh, that's going to be a really bad one. Like, it really wouldn't surprise me if you walk away with some type of pointage in those games. Because um, I think you are naturally just, you know, you might not, um, they might not be your forte, you might not have played them that often. I think you're naturally just a good gamer. Um, your skills can take you a long way. And, you know, you never know. You might luck out. You might luck out. No 
natural progression in a randomizer. Yeah, I can see how that would. Um, yeah, I can I can see how that can mess mess people up. Definitely. Yes, smart man, the horse riding silliness. Yes. That, oh, I just love that. I love that with every core of my being. I think that is the funniest shit ever. Especially when you're not aware of it. Like, when someone puts that on, and you don't, you just think it's like a horse racing game. Oh, it just cracks me up. Cracks me up. Yeah, when I first saw it as well, I thought it was a game. And then when I started looking it up, turns out it's just a DVD. Just a DVD. Why is this wall not dinging? Ding, damn you wall. There you go. I can't remember where I first saw it. I think it was YouTube or something like that. And oh, but see, one of the things, one of the things that I don't, not that I don't have, not that I necessarily need either, but I'd like something like that. Like I know, you know, you want to do stuff with your chat from time. And I know like that marbles game is is popular right now. A lot of people do the marbles marbles run thing with their chat and stuff. I just think that would be hilarious, pulling that up on stream, having chat bet on the bet on the races, and for those people that haven't seen it before or don't know about it, and then seeing like what the horses do, I think that would just be absolutely hilarious seeing people's reactions to it. Oh, did you try and switch? Oh, oh, Markman, tell me about this. Did you try and switch a game nomination? Is that what you're saying? And they didn't let you do it? Yeah, three DVDs, World Cup 1, World Cup 2, and World Cup 3. And I've tried to find them. Um, yes, I could purchase them, I'm well aware, but I really don't want to. <laughs> but I, don't, I can't find them anywhere for not purchasing. Uh, you know what, Flip? I don't think that is a bad suggestion. I think that is actually somewhat reasonable. It's just a, a, I, I mean, I know what your answer's, what the answer is going to be, but I would pose that to the council. I think that's a very, very fair suggestion. Yeah, it's Super Metroid Zelda Randomizer's my original number one nom, then later tried to swap in Azura Dreams instead. Didn't know that they only picked Super Metroid until the results came out. Uh, I asked for my game to be switched because I realised after posing it as a pick that my that it was... A, it wasn't really conducive to the wheel. When I originally made the pick for Turmoil, I thought it would actually be a bit more competitive. Um, which, so it wasn't going to necessarily be a struggle. It was going to be more about the competitive side of things, which I thought would be uh, A, a little change of pace, but also you know, be, be interesting. You get a little bit more competitive about wanting to do it. But then I realized after playing it a bit more, the randomness of the game 
um, can really hinder that. So you could actually be playing really, really well and be punished through no fault of your own. And I kind of thought that was unfair. And if that element of the game was taken away, then it's really just a five-hour slog for nothing. So I've asked for my nomination to be changed, uh, but I haven't heard back from from the from the noble leaders. So we'll see. Oh, so you have allowed a vanilla practice run. That's good to know. That is good to know. You are you are a merciful god. So how uh, we've congratulated you, Mark Man, and we've we've all we've all sung your praises on a on a season well played. How does it feel to be the champion? Have you know are people treating you different? Are there you know do people in the streets know who you are now? How does it feel to be champion? I'm also allowing treasure maps so people aren't stuck on hidden. So oh okay. Yeah okay nice. You are a merciful god. Well played. That is very nice of you to do so. Tell you one game, I mean, not talking about the wheel here for a second, but one game that I am really, really surprised that I'm actually excited to see come out. It, oh, it's Lara. Oh, I hit pause. It's Lara. Hello, I trust Winston has extracted himself from the freezer in time to make you tea. Yay, he was in the freezer. <laughs> there are two things that always find their way out the truth and Winston. That's funny. Yay, lore! <laughs> uh, only slightly different reactions in chat and the pressure that I still need to put out a thank you video this month. Ah! Yes, get that thank you video done. Could you, could you please put in there a special shout out to me for pushing you to do your best? Not that I did, I'm just egotistical and like hearing my name. <laughs> <laughs> It was a close fought wheel though. It was a close fought wheel. It was enjoyable. I was, uh, I'm sad. I'm so glad that I joined, but I'm sad that I didn't join sooner. I didn't know sooner, but I'm sad that I didn't join sooner to see uh, how the other games played out. But it was, it was exciting. Came down to the wire. Consistency is the key in the wheel, which makes Mark Man out to but Oh yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent. An honourable mention. I'll take an honourable mention. I mean, ideally, I would like. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for Tater, none of this would be possible. But honourable mention, I can take an honourable mention. If if you want to stick that in your video, I'm all for it. All for it. Of course, I am joking, and I would not expect such a thing. But if you can somehow get a geese to walk in the background and sh swear at it, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, there's what? I forgot how many games there are off, off the bat now on the wheel, but there's something like, what, let's say 20 games? That's 20 points right there. Like, if you can stay, can stay consistent and get at least the games played, you'll be somewhere up the wheel. Um, so yeah, consistency is absolutely key. And you know, being good at games also doesn't hurt your chances either. But that is where I am hoping that my I do not finish bottom because I will have consistency and I will play 
all the games, if not the vast majority of them. So that's what I'm hoping will keep me out of last spot. That and uh, Decky, you know, throwing in the towel on a few games. Because the rage gets the better of them. Toe Jam and Earl 2 or Earthworm Jim 2. I swear, if those are the ones that show, I will be so mad. <laughs> so, so mad. <coughs> Actually, I can take Toe Jam and Earl 2. Earthworm Jim, though, I'm not sure. All right, let's take stock. That is one half. Why are they flashing at me? Are they, is that a glitch? Or is... Oh, oh, okay, they're all flashing at me. That's weird. I've not noticed that before. Have they always been doing that? Okay, we'll just ignore that. That's very weird that they're flashing at me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Toe Jam and Earl 2 was completely different. I do remember that. Earthworm Jim 2 is just Earthworm Jim. Yeah, and that's... And here's the thing. I really enjoyed Earthworm Jim. I really, really enjoyed Earthworm Jim. The thing that I didn't like about Earthworm... Like, yeah, okay. It was... You know, there were some questionable bits and whatnot. But the thing that I really didn't like about Earthworm Jim... Yep, yeah, that's the wrong way. Was... Or not that I didn't like... The thing that got me, that triggered me on Earthworm Jim was it went from LOL, that's a funny mechanic, to now we're just going to throw absolutely everything at you and not apologize for it. And that that completely sapped the enjoyment factor out of that game for me right at the end. I really, really hated that. Um, like, I don't think I actually raged at that game. I think I just got to a point of I'm done. Like, this is now no longer enjoyable. I can get angry at a game, but still enjoy it. And that game just went from, this is actually pretty fun, to, well, now I'm just not having fun. Like, you've just made this unnecessarily, ridiculously hard, and I don't want to play anymore. So, yeah, I'm kind of hoping those two don't come up. <laughs> Fluffin, I know, definitely hated Earthworm Jim. One million percent. So, yeah, I think if Earthworm Jim Two comes up, I think he'll actually be more angry about Earthworm Two Jim. Earthworm Two Jim. <laughs> Earthworm Jim Two potentially coming up than I would be actually. Because, um, like I say, I don't really mind the game. Just the end really just pissed me off more than anything else. Oh yeah, Worm on the Whip was horrific, and I need to get yeah, I need to get started on uh, two Worm, two Jim, <laughs> two Worm, two Jim, two Wormy. Um, yeah, Dark Cloud for me is gonna be on Sunday, and so will be the other nomination or other the other pick from tomorrow. There is a wheel spin tomorrow, right? I'm not making that up in my head. There is a wheel spin tomorrow, right? Because if that's the case, then I'll do a double. I'll do Dark Cloud, and then I'll do whatever the other one is. I'll do them back to back. Get some 10 hours in there. I think, yeah, there, I'm pretty sure there's a spin tomorrow. I hope there's a spin tomorrow. Otherwise, my plans are right up the creek. With pedals this deep. Yeah, spin tomorrow. Cool. I wonder why these things are flashing at me. I've never seen things in this game flash at you before. Very bizarre. Check. I missed. Oh, I've missed a lot of things over here. There we go.
Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Dark Cloud. I, uh, I've heard what Fluffin has to say. I've heard what a lot of people have to say about it, to be honest. Um, I guess it'll just be a case of wait and see. See what, uh, see what we can get out of it. Maybe this is the game. Maybe like, you know. I'm, I wonder if everybody, if anybody else, has the same mentality of, you know, what this is impossible to do in five hours. So I'll just get so far and call it a day. Maybe this is my time. I can actually get podium because nobody else finished it or put the five hours in. Maybe this is what I've been waiting for. This is my moment. Ding, ding, ding. Clean you, clean you, clean you. Let's get our attachment on here. Wait, Floof, do you have a strat? Tell me the strat. What should I do? Nobody will know. Tell me. Tell me. What should you have done? And I'll do that. Tell me. You won't tell me. I know you won't. And I wouldn't expect you to, but... Please? I've got a feeling I need to get around here. Oh, no. Win. Win and go fast. <laughs> Thanks, Fuchsia. I mean, Floofin. Nope, crap. Oh, I think I'm okay, actually. Oh yeah, uh, fall damage does not exist in this game. You can jump from as high as you like. Couldn't put the body thing down there. No, I didn't. Bugger off. Where? Missed a little spot there, but I'll get that here. I would have got that on the other side. Where did I miss a spot? Where, Fluffin? Where? You're a liar. See, and you made me fall again. I don't believe you. Palmont's top, but no worries, Mark. We'll probably still be here. Up here? I don't think I can get that. <sighs> Fine, I'll go back. Super jump there. Oh, you talking about up here? Where the fuck am I meant to get that? I'm at the top. Excuse me, game. Yeah, I'll do it, I guess. Hang on a second. How? Are these the same height? Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Hang on. Come over here. Google Gadget Arms. Are you the same height? No, you're one taller. We need you. You go away. You're the one. You're the 
chosen one over here. No, it is the same height. Damn it! No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Wait, I'm so confused. How am I meant to get... This top bit. Are you gonna get? Let me get. No, there's not a ladder. <sighs> Whoa, am I missing something? Can't get up there. Can't get up there. Okay, got it. <laughs> <coughs> it wasn't so much the fact I couldn't see what I was cleaning. It was more the fact I couldn't see how I was going to get to clean it. That was the <laughs> that was the confusing part. Sorry, that must have drove you insane. Like, because this is as high as I can go, and if there's dirt over there like that's really hard to get anyway where are we I think that could be a lie. I think there's probably been times where you've wanted to strangle me more. Especially, I don't, have you seen, uh, have you seen Zero's Phasmo clips on Instagram? <laughs> well, actually, I think he put them on, on the bait server as well. I'm pretty sure if that was you, you'd want to strangle me at that point as well. Because I had an absolute mare that round. There's hidey holes in the in the in the garage. Did you say there's hidey holes in the garage? Yeah, they're right at the back. That's the basement. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't what he's done. It's what I did. I uh, I I triggered a hunt by using a Ouija board. Um. Oh, I missed bits there and there as well. Come here. I missed, I triggered hunts using a Ouija board um, when I n probably really knew I shouldn't have used the Ouija board when he was in the ghost room. And then, yeah, I also told him there were hidey holes in a garage when actually the hidey holes were in the basement. So, yeah, I think you'd probably want to have strangled me. Um, if, that, if you were there, you probably would have want, wanted to have strangled me. a few times there as well. I seem to be on a massive, massive losing streak in Phasmophobia in multiplayer games. Single player games, kill it. I'll win every single time, I'll get all the objectives, I'll get tons of pictures, absolutely no problem whatsoever. As soon as I turn on multiplayer, I get my ass handed to me consistently as well. Like not even, oh, game here and there, I get killed. No, no. Two out of three games, I'll probably die. We're over halfway there. I am looking forward to their new update though. Looks like they've been putting in a lot of work since Apocalypse. I'm excited to see it. And I know with the challenges that they're introducing, I know that will bring you back to the game all the, every day. Need the next challenge, need the next challenge. Especially if they give you trophies for it. It's 
because I'm not inviting you to carry anymore. Most of the time, mate, when I'm playing, you know I'd invite you to every game I play, mate. I'd have absolutely no, um, no qualms with that whatsoever. Most of the multiplayer games that I play um, have all been late at night, and I just, I assume, I've, I, it's built into me that, you know, 9, 10 o'clock at night, my time, everyone in the UK is in, in bed by then. But, um, you know, I'd invite you into every game I play. Because, again, as you said, I, I need someone to carry me. I can't do this alone. Well, actually, no, I can do it alone. I can't do it with other people. <laughs> but, so, yeah, always feel free to... Uh, Invite yourself in, but if you ever see me playing at night, or night my time, morning your time, if you ever see me playing at night, and you fancy a game, just give me a shout. I never want to message in case you know you're sleeping or anything, and I, I would hate to wake you up at silly o'clock in the morning. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall. It's like Bomberman menuing all over again. and cleany clean 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 something really calming about the whole sound it is here I'll give you a few minutes of just hose no tater only hose here we go There you go. A marked improvement. Is that uh, over stream quality or <laughs> cleaning quality? What was the improvement? The hose sound without my voice? scary when you when you look down when you fall I thought I was on I still had a little bit of uh, space there D 
to not like that. <laughs> That's quite, quite terrifying. That quite um, you're like, oh crap. Uh, I think that must have brought back some uh, Mirror's Edge PTSD. Biggest one. Wait. Hey. Nope. Nice. Nice. Roadhouse. Nope. Almost fell down again. Nice. <laughs> this is the annoying thing about this game. If you press start. You can see everything that is to be cleaned or what's getting cleaned. You can see I've got quite a lot of stuff here, either clean or to be cleaned. When you get to the end, you get the last three things that you need to actually clean. And trying to find those things can be a fucking pain in the ass. Let's all clean that, it's all done, that's all done, that's all done, that's all done. Nice. I'll look up this time. Yeah. Shall we take stock a little bit again? Let's take stock. Look at the difference. We're changing this woman's life. Oh, can I reach that? Shit. Can I? Yeah, I can get this bit. Hey! That'll do. a little blink of orange come up there. I'm like, really? Should we kick that out of that? Get a closer. There we go. You were about to fucking scream at 1am. <laughs> I think this causes you more rage than the wheel does, mate. Maybe you shouldn't be watching this stream. for that part. Should be okay with this part though. <laughs> I don't know why just reading that comment just makes me giggle. I was about to fucking scream at 1am. Maybe this is it. Maybe the wheel of struggle for you is just watching me play games. You get a point for every stream that you stick through the whole way through. That's the struggle. Oh, this game is amazingly calming to play. And you don't like I, I think the um, I think exactly what you're saying there. Watching someone, you're like, oh my god! Like, will you please do it this way, or will you please do it that way? Or you've missed a bit and you've not seen it, and I know you've not seen it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, and uh, I apologize for that, but sorry, not sorry, you know. You knew what you were signing up for when you clicked into the stream. When you say it gives you a headache, are you meaning just because you know you're seeing things that are being missed, or is it like actually giving you a headache because of the motion and stuff? Gen genuine question. Like, actually curious about that. Is it just a headache for the rage, or is it a headache with the the motion and everything? 
because if it is giving you headache with like the motion and stuff, I can change that. So please do let me know. I mean, you're more than welcome to back seat. I am absolutely fine with back seating in this situation. Yeah, I'm always worried about games like this where there's so much motion, like if people get like sick watching it or headaches or nauseous or whatever. So, yeah, when you, when you said headache, there I was like, oh wait, is that actually is he is he actually getting headaches because I'm the way that I'm moving or anything? There you go, all this is now all so pretty. <laughs> Just the usual tater and juice headaches, yeah. Yeah, they're chronic. Unfortunately, there are no cures. I bet you just thank Ciro every single day for introducing us. Life was so much easier before you knew the the struggle of Tater. <laughs> or the struggle of knowing Tater. The struggle of being Tater actually isn't that much of a struggle. It's pretty blissful ignorance. But the struggle of knowing Tater, I can imagine, is real. challenges me and then I found the challenge <laughs> that's yeah that's fair that is fair I can see that Ooh, that was a big thing when it challenges me then life threw me a challenge I was not ready for how far can I get with the really big one here without having to move mm, I could do it ah beautifully clean look at it look at it Ah, ding! Let me just go right up the side of this wall here. Just capture all whatever it is that we're capturing. Ah. Beautiful. Wee. <laughs> and life gives you lemons, throw them at Tater, in hopes that he goes away. <laughs> Well, as my namesake would say, when life gives you lemons, find someone whose life has given them vodka and have a party. But throw them at Tater is probably the better idea. Just think, Wolfen, how boring would the wheel be for you now without me? You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. You'd be like, I finished the game again, 
Did it, guys. What's next? Uh, I finished that game, guys. What's next? You you hate to admit it, but I bring joy into your gaming life. And you don't have to admit it. It's okay. I know. I know. fingers were struggling to hit the enter key while typing that. <laughs> it's alright though. It's okay. It's alright. Nobody will hold it against you. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> it would be so empty without me. Na 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 na. <laughs> might have Snooky put that on the next bit of work that she does for me. Just a little quote at the bottom. When life gives you lemons, throw them at Tater and hope he goes away. Pretty nice progress on this house, not gonna lie. We are getting there. It's at 8 o'clock. Jeez, how long have I been shooting for? Almost 3 hours! Jesus! It's like a wheel entry. Can I submit this? Can I get a point? I'd really like to know why those ones particular are flashing. I've never seen, like that's your dirt cam, I've never seen items in this game actually flash before. Really curious to know why that is. On to the discord I must go later. Cause I didn't clean the other side. There it is. There it is. Got it.
<coughs> Excuse me. I just had a very random thought about uh, papers, please, and where I left off on that. I'm pretty sure I had everyone dead, apart from my wife, I think. Just randomly, just sitting here, power washing away, and randomly thought about papers, please. halfway done on this side that's awesome in fact probably more than halfway done on this side but yeah we're almost at the middle of the at the doors come down here nice and slowly ish there we go there we go fast Everything is done and dusted over here in Egypt, and I'll be back in England to see your handiwork very soon. Thank you, Lara. I appreciate it. I'd love for you to see what your house looks like when I'm done. So nice of her to message. She's a busy woman. That's interesting, though, because it's... Oh, well, no, I guess not. It never actually explains in the career where you are it just gives you like a fake name i forget what it is now that's the first time it's ever really re referenced a place but lara croft's home is in england so that makes sense why she said that you could i guess take it from that that you wouldn't travel very far so you are also in england but you know it's a game who knows The, the really funny thing about this game was the lore, like what was going on in the city, the volcano was erupting, and why why was the volcano erupting, and stuff like that. It was, it was a very interesting storyline. I say interesting, it was a very loosely interesting storyline. Are you clean yet? Not yet, Markman, not yet. We are kind of almost at the halfway point of this upper stage. Don't fall. A double dinger. You're saying you're taking some work calls there, Mark. Is that are you on like a, a night shift as well? Are you, or are you just always working? Forever a dirty tater. I'm a dirty potato.
Oh, that's right, yeah. been over the west coast in the longest time <coughs> I really should try and get back there at some point I like the west coast ah yep tax time oh crap it is that time of year again This stuff is stuck on a little bit harder than the rest. switch to this one for a little bit because that stuff was really caked on there. Are, oh, we're getting dings all over the place here. We're getting there. We are getting there. Let me go back up to the top here, but I'll finish off this bottom section here real quick. Now, I know I need to get that roof. Uh, do I have room to go this way? I do. Nice. Nice. Clean up this top bit. Lara's going to be so happy with me. <coughs> oh, need the... I was like, why can't I reach that? Need the extension. range on this thing is good but the actual like water spread is awful barely catch any of it ugh well thank you for the ding Let's get this bit cleaned while we're here. See, when you start playing this, like when you start any level, you like keep track of what you're doing and what parts still need to be done and so on and so forth so you're pretty confident that you've like cleaned everything and then as the game goes on and on and on you start becoming less confident or not paying as much attention so then you start missing things and then that's when the end game really starts to suck
the cause, and you're like, well, where the hell's that bit? Where the hell's that bit? And it starts to become really, really, not difficult, but you're just now running about trying to find a speck of uh, dirt on a random um, bit of the house that you're apparently meant to know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we can probably do a medium nozzle for you. Yeah, perfect. That was actually pretty satisfying. <laughs> Even that satisfied me. Oh, my daughter is singing Frozen. That's... Oh, they're all singing Frozen. Ready? Hoi! Oh, wait, no, and hoi! We're almost there. We are almost there. I can actually probably just get on that. Or I'm getting close to be able to get on that without having to use this thing anymore. Yeah, we'll be able to get on there and just walk around get all this top stuff and then get on there and walk around ding ding double dings ooh I did not see you there before Oh my, I missed a lot. See, I mean, I knew I was cleaning this, and I knew that there was stuff here to do, and I just kind of finished the bit that I was looking at, and I'm like, cool, done. It's a good thing I came down here, because I would have missed all of that. I think we're good here. And once my power washing career is over, I'll become a long jumper. Um, what do I want to do? think let's work on the top how the fuck am I meant to get all the oh, can I get that is that actually cleaning oh, oh my god it is okay is it recognizing that statue as something I don't think it is okay so I should be okay here Yeah, I don't think I, I 
I knew this was going to take me a long time. I didn't think, for 400 quid, I didn't think it was going to take me as long as it is for 400 quid. So now I'm kind of even madder that it is only 400 quid. Yeah, sorry, Bob. I just uh, had a moment of silence there for my, for my fallen dirt. Whoa, okay, there we go. Hope you're doing good, Bob. Hope you're doing good. We are nearing the end of our Lara Croft mansion. Just a few more sections to go. So that's all done, that's all done. Get this side here, good. could jump down there now at this point but I'm here may as well just catch what I can while I'm standing here try to get the top here as well actually I probably won't be able to reach that as well down on the ground so let's get this top arch done Just think, Fluffin, if you did get this game, we would have been done by now. I could have done the top part, you would have done this, the bottom part. We would have been done, on to the next one. It's okay, though. I respect your decision. He might argue that. <laughs> he, he might argue that positioning, I don't know. Olympic jump! even say how Fluffin and I would tackle power washing without it turning sexual. Shame on you chat. Shame on you. He might argue it but you don't. <laughs> no. I think that's the natural order of things. Plus, I'm older than him, so, you know, I should, should listen to his elders. Pretty sure I'm older than him. Damn it, need to go, ah, oh, crap. pretty 
pretty confident at this point he hasn't he hasn't uh, chipped in, so I'm pretty confident he's asleep, in which case, what I say goes. <laughs> I'm top, Fluffin's bottom, zero is the meat in the sandwich. <laughs> I will be absolutely amazed if I get to the end of this and I haven't missed anything. I am almost positive I have somewhere, but oh yeah, right there. I would have missed that. Let's see if we can get that from here. Eh. Come on, give me the ding. I cleaned all of it apart from that top bit. That's really annoying. I got it. <laughs> Screw you, game. Did I do the same on this one? No, I actually cleaned that one properly. Way to go, me. Classifying this wall is done. Screw you, game. There we go. And Superman jump. Ooh, nearly didn't make that. Beautiful. Side there, oh, all right, you're done, perfect. Well, I'm sorry. I would not be doing this job for 400 bucks. Like, kiss my ass. This is a good couple of grand's worth right here. We are underselling ourselves massively for this woman. Maybe we get something out of it? I don't know. Nobody gave me that contract information. But for 400 bucks? Uh uh. Nope, nope, nope. Do better than that. There we go. Okay. Come on, help we go. I think if things don't work out with me as a trainer for any reason, I think I would do this as a job. I think I could make this my job. Be like a professional power wash cleaner guy. I'd enjoy that. I don't think my body would like me very much because I've got a power washer and every time I use it, my body's in agony afterwards. I'm probably not using it right. Um, you can make up your own minds as to what I mean by that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I would enjoy that, just being a, like a professional power wash cleaner. Oh, sounds like heaven. <laughs> We're going to go bankrupt here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just a two story mansion, 400. Ah, an old Scottish castle. Yeah, we'll make it an even 250. Alright, that bit's going to annoy me if I don't clean it now. There we go. Oh wow, 
you're not dinging that. That's a lot I missed. Ding that wall, good. Ding this now, ding, thank you. Ding that, thank you kindly. Oh, ding that, thank you kindly. Getting all the dings. Can I make it up here? Let's see. Yeah, I could probably get a lot of this actually. Ding me there. That's the, uh, the reason that I, well, not that I can agree with this being 400, but it makes sense within the pricing of the game. Because um, this is huge, you know, like I say, this has taken, well, almost three hours with maybe a 20 minute break, 10, 15 minute break in the middle there. Like I say, this, and that's, you know, a midway clean. The final level in this is just unbelievably large. So I can kind of understand why this is 400, but at the same time, it's kind of, you know, eh, ah, crap, crap, crap. So I wouldn't be doing this for 200, <laughs> uh, 400. I think the thing that gets you about this game when you're watching it as a viewer that I I would have done it this way gets the better of you and that's what kind of makes you buy the game is you sit there and look at it and like no no I would have cleaned it this way and in this direction and that ma manner and that method and then it, that gets the better of you and you're like okay now I have to buy the game to play it so that I can get that out of my system and then you're hooked I told one of my best friends about it, and he laughed at me like everyone does, you know. Uh, Power Wash Simulator, what a stupid game. Uh, but he got it, because it was multiplayer, and I think he has more hours on it than I do now. He, he got absolutely hooked on it. So yeah, it is an easy game to get addicted to. And I'm all for it. I am all for it. Dings ninety six per cent clean. Window clean. Nice. We are there. We are on the last section. We're almost there last section and then tidy up for all the spots that we missed 
and the reason that Floofin is quiet is because he has passed out from rage, which tells me I've missed a lot of spots. this bit while we're here and ding perfect oh thank you did I get that bit over there yes I did uh, uh. nice 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 boom that bit's dead that bit did, that bit's done. I really hope I get my final like three or four items, however many it is, really, really soon. Otherwise, that's just gonna put the fear in me of how much I've missed. The good thing is, is it doesn't wreck your like end of game thing. Um, it still shows like the big parts that you did so it still looks good so I'm hoping this end of game one looks really good So I'd expect, what's that, one, two, three, four, five. I'd expect two more dings to get, and then get my final three. So hopefully if we do this one. One. Two, damn it, okay. Ah, we're gonna have to go hunting because this should be one two three there so ugh. hopefully they're like real easy ones to find otherwise this might take me a minute to find all the bits that I've missed. Why am I doing this this way? another one. Oh, that's really upsetting. All right. Corbels. I missed four corbels? First of all, what the fuck is a corbel? Are you a corbel? No. You're a corbel table. Are you a corbel? No, are you a car? Oh, well, you're not queen. The fuck is a corbel? Right, you're not a corbel. You're a 
Kunun. Kunun, I need a Kerbal. You a Kerbal? <gasps> You're a Kerbal. Right, one, two, three, four. That's not a Kerbal. No. No. Ah, third one. There's another one. Oh, there's a wall. Good. That was fortunate. Oh, and another one. Good. That was fortunate. There's that corbel. Well, I missed a lot of shit, huh? I just happened to see that. There we go. Ding there. Corbel. That one done. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Corbel tables, crap, that's these ones. That's fine. That's a corbel table, that's fine. That's not a corbel table. Are you a corbel table? Nope. Are you a corbel table? Oh, how did I miss that so badly? Where's my ladders? Done. Decorative window arches for fuck's sake. Window frame. Okay, so that's a decorative window arch. Alright. Decorative window arch. Good. Good. Okay, I'm there. Got it. Is that the only one? Nope, three more. I just saw that this wall. Alright, well, that wasn't what I was going for, but okay. Ah, I see it. This is what I mean when you're playing it. You go, you get into a mode really. Like, okay, okay, that clean thing, that clean thing, but then eventually, after you know three hours of it, you start kind of losing count as to what you've done or where you're going. So it makes it a lot harder to like keep up with what you've missed. Got that. I don't think there are any arches there. Decorative window arch, nope. Decorative window arch, nope. I don't make any sense. It's, I still have. Oh, there's one there. <coughs> yeah, I'm missing one. Shit. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. These don't have decorative window arches, nor does that. That's fine. No windows there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And then... Door hinges. There's only one door. This should be easy. Oh, there you all are. Ding. Nice. Oh, now these are... Kunins. I don't even know how you pronounce that word. Kunins. Kuons. 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 Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. 
Those are tower cumulons. What I'm looking for here, if you can't tell, is on the top left hand side when I point at something, it tells me what it is, like there. I'm looking for that small white mark there that tells me that isn't clean. There we go. Wall base. That should be easy enough. Wall base, wall base, wall base. Wall base, wall base, wall base. Wall base. And then a window frame. Are you fucking serious? Alright, window frame. Let's go back around here. Window frame, window frame large window frame, so I know it's not that one, it's just a normal window frame. Window frame, window frame. Oh, got it. Oh, and we're done. All right, here comes the best part. Hope I hope it doesn't go too fast, let's see. Here it goes, there's the fountain. Oh, and then the bottom, then the top. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Winston has been gushing about what a tremendous job you've done finishing his cleaning on the exterior. I am excited to see it for myself. You have my deepest gratitude. In fact, based on this solid intel, I think I have something else for you. Oh, what have you got? Let's see. Did it without using any cleaner as well. Go me. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. You're welcome, Lara. Lara Cross obstacle course and quad bike. Remember the obstacle course. My God. That's only 300. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. That'll be the next one then. The obstacle course and the quad bike. And with that, we are going to call it a day. Whew. Three, three and a half hours almost. Not bad after, after a long day's work. Not too bad. Alright guys, we are going to go. We're going to call it a day there. I don't think there is anyone really streaming. Let's have a look. so so with that i'll close the screen the stream the stream down uh mark man good luck with your video look forward to seeing it thank you all so much for the support for the subs for the follows everything like that uh very very does uh very very does very very appreciated and it really really does make uh make the difference and mean the world to me so thank you all so much Hope everyone has a great rest of their week. Might come back on tomorrow and do this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But the obstacle course will be next. I'll be doing this Tomb Raider DLC um, all on stream. So if I do it, you'll definitely hear about it. Um, if you miss any, as you know, all my stuff is on the YouTubes. You'll catch it there. And yeah. Y'all have a good one. Have a good rest of your night. Have a good rest of your week. And we'll see y'all again. Take care, guys.